You know, back in February, gamblers were taking odds that Mitt Romney was not going to secure enough delegates to capture the nomination before the convention. Well, those gamblers lost. Thanks to uncontested wins this week, Romney has mathematically clinched the nomination, and he's out with a new hopeful ad. Driven by freedom, where free people pursuing happiness in their own unique ways create free enterprises that employ more and more Americans. I see an America with a growing middle class, with rising standards of living. I see children even more successful than their parents, and others congratulating them for their achievement, not attacking them for it. President Obama, having spent a couple of weeks attacking Romney's business record, now is attacking Romney's record as Massachusetts governor. We need a jobs re revolution. We need to have more jobs in Massachusetts, more good jobs. That's the key to our future. There was that promise uh, and hope that Romney would deliver with jobs and grow the economy here in Massachusetts, and that did not materialize. Massachusetts growth stopped. Companies stopped coming. The new jobs were not being created. Bill Hershey, Mitt Romney caused rust in Massachusetts, and he made it rain. <laughs> Was well, some unflattering the, pictures there. <laughs> the clouds, unfortunately for the president, though, today yeah. are over him. And this uh, Massachusetts, his record there is debatable. It may not have been good. But the only thing for pre good for President Obama right now is that it's June, not uh, October, because people across the country and in Ohio know that national unemployment is 8.8%. 2% right now. Job growth was only half of what it was supposed to be. And what happened in Massachusetts eight or nine or ten years ago is far less important to them than what's happening right now. So I think that uh, President Obama's ad is effective. He's an effective campaigner, but events have kind of overtaken him at least this week. Gain of nationally only 69,000 jobs. Economists say you need 150,000 jobs just to keep pace with population growth. So not good news for the Obama administration. Not at all. And and I think Bill touched on the on the two overlapping issues. The president historically, whoever's president, has been affected by the job numbers in previous elections. But at the same time, Romney has chosen to run on this topic as job creator. And he has a track record. And I think it's certainly fair and it's certainly something that the Obama campaign hopes that people will look at. And Ohio Republicans must be cheering today uh, the fact that the uh, national unemployment rate has gone up a tick because it, it may finally, if, it can, if that continues to go up nationally, whereas the Ohio rate continues to edge downward, it's going to finally let the Ohio Republicans say, okay, Ohioans in this key state, uh, the reason things are getting better here is not because of Obama. It's because of John Kasich and the Republicans, uh, and you can see that by the fact that the national numbers, uh, the national unemployment rate is going up. Up till now, there's been, you know, it's been a weird situation. Uh, the national rate has been going down, the Ohio rate's been going down, and Ohioans have been saying, oh, we like uh, Kasich a little more than we did because things are getting better, and we like Obama a little more. So it's been ideologically uh, weird. But you don't have to wait. Mm -hmm. Bob Bennett's already said it today, <laughs> the chairman of the Ohio Republican Party. He put his press release out just about <laughs> yeah. as soon as these numbers came out, saying just exactly what you said, that John Kasich's doing it, uh, President Obama is not. But the Obama campaign would say the reason why Ohio's unemployment rate is going down is because he helped save the auto, auto industry, industry Marianne, and right. that has Absolutely. led to right. manufacturing jobs. And actually, manufacturing jobs nationally were one of the few spots that actually saw significant growth. Well, I mean, I actually, I think that's going to help Obama uh, clearly in Ohio. But I don't know why David Axelrod is out in Massachusetts uh, on the state house steps going after Romney, because I believe Romney will win Massachusetts. And I thought he looked a little silly st standing on those steps. And I'm not even sure David Axelrod is a particularly effective uh, surrogate for, for the president when he's out. Yeah, he was, and then, of course, he's like down the street from Romney headquarters, so they just walked down the street and heckled him the whole time. Yeah, he got heckled <laughs> yeah. as much right. as he, he got. Did. He did, he did. Yeah, but when you look at the hecklers in that particular video that, that you saw all over the news, you didn't see much diversity. I'm, I'm not sure that I want to be focusing on those uh, hecklers if I were the Romney campaign. And I've seen some criticism. There is not any diversity in that the short clip of that ad that we saw. It's a two-minute two minute long ad on the web, and there are no Hispanics in the ad. There are no African Americans in the ad. How does that appeal to a Latino voter? I, it doesn't, but I think that vote has been lost, and I don't know if it can be recaptured. You think he's given up on that vote? I think he's given up. Um, will the Ohio unemployment rate 
could it could it help Obama the statewide unemployment rate if it remains fairly low or goes down below the national average? In that Ohio voters will say, you know, things are getting better here. We'll vote for the president, and he wins Ohio even if the national rate uh, continues I think to stall. Combined with what Marianne yeah. said, the improvement in the auto industry, right. it could wash out for him that way. Okay. But if national unemployment uh, keeps going up a little bit or doesn't get any better, the overall impression is going to be that good times haven't returned, and right. I think that's a problem for the president. The, the ball you game know, is is the unemployment rate. Yeah. I mean, the it really is. rate could wind up going up because of a quirk. If people feel better about the economy, those who've gotten discouraged and were not looking for work start to look for work. If they don't find a job, uh, they are officially now declared unemployed, and the unemployment rate goes up. Yeah, I think some of the national numbers today reflected some folks re-entering the force, but still bad numbers.